Welcome back to my channel. Today we're back in Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I am going to try out another experiment. That's right, I was wondering, you know, what if we compare the cheapest and most expensive car in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online? What differences will we find? Personally, I don't even know which car is the most expensive or the cheapest, so this is gonna be a fun experiment anyway. All right, so first, uh, let's land <coughs> and not die. <laughs> and then we can look on the internet. Wow, what a great landing. All right, so I'm just gonna open my phone. I'm gonna go to travel and transport. And then here we actually have a bunch of websites we can visit and purchase cars. For example, we've got Legendary Motorsport, which is like the classical one. Legendary Motorsport pretty much sells all the supercars of the game, almost all the supercars of the game. And stock, they're already really, really good. Um, as you can see, the prices are pretty insane. 900,000, 1, 1 million, 100,000. 600,000, 1.6 million. There's insane prices. And we have some more websites here. For example, SouthernSanAndreasSuperAutos.com is a site where they sell more normal cars. These guys don't sell supercars, so this might be the website where we are going to find the cheapest car of the game. For example, this one goes for 145,000. And then we have probably one under 100K too. Where, come on, show yourself, come on. We have some cars that are free. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal to me. So Rockstar Games is doing like a sale. So some of these cars might be free. We're not going to include those, okay? Those are boring. 37,000, a rat truck. <laughs> no thanks. 6,000. The rat loader. Oh my goodness. Wait, what if I just, what if I just sort the website on cheapest and most expensive? Wait. All right. Sort by price. Oh. Ow, 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 shot at. Come on. What did I do wrong now? We've got a whole bunch of cars that are free. Actually, six of them. Seven. <gasps> Number eight. Karen Rebel. $3,000. That is very cheap. Even cheaper than a Vagio. Wow. Okay, let's have a look. You won't worry about trashing this all-terrain pickup truck. It's pretty much trash already. Oh, look, it's got a cup holder. <laughs> to be honest, this car is not too bad. It's a bit rusty, but we could probably fix that. Let's buy this car, and you know what? We're gonna have to look around a little more to see if we can find a cheaper one, but so far, this is the cheapest one we could find. All right, sold. All right, so let's have a quick look if we can find a cheaper car anywhere else. These guys just sell bikes, $800 for the cheapest, but who really cares about bikes in Grand Theft Auto? And we have dock tees. These guys only sell boats, which by the way, the submarine is free now. Okay. Warstockcashandcarry.com, sort by price. We've got some cheap cars here. Okay, two free ones, a free monster truck. A free Duke of Death, which is actually a really sick car. And then the Journey. I'm not sure why this one is more expensive than the Karen Rabble, but this actually might be the van of Breaking Bad or the RV of Breaking Bad, the uh, the series. I think there's a meth lab inside of this RV. But anyway, still not cheaper than the Karen Rabble, which was $3,000. So I don't think there's a cheaper one on this site either. Okay, interesting. All right, Legendary Motorsport. We obviously check this one out. The cheapest one here is the Comet, which which is a Porsche, surprisingly, for 100K. That's actually very cheap. On this side, they only sell planes, so that's relevant. And then Benny's Original Motor Works also sells cars, but let's have a look. 1.1 million, 1.4 million. Ooh, the Fister Commit for 100K again. Um, a free one, anything cheap, 12K, 9K, 5.5 thousand. All right, that's almost double the price of a Rebel, but this Voodoo is one that you can customize like crazy. Look at this. Wow. You know what? Let's buy this one as well in green. And let's uh, let's compare this one to the Rebel, which are the two cheapest cars of the game. Oh my goodness, guys. Here we have the Rusty Rebel. $3,000 for this car? Sounds like a good deal. It's not even like a secondhand purchase. This is new. <laughs> well, I mean, it is rusty, so there's that. Look at the mirror placement. That's kind of strange. Is that, is that something all American cars have? No, it's not true. American cars have normal mirror placements. It's just this rebel car. All right, so I'm driving with it right now. And uh, you know what? This thing is actually really fast. Look at this. This is pretty neat. Then we have the cup holder. Oh, <laughs> I almost crashed. Oh, I don't know why this is the cheapest car in the game. Maybe because it's like 
kind of ugly. But hey, it's a pickup truck and it's, I don't know, kind of big. I don't know. It's a cool, it's a cool car. Yeah. All right. So I want to try out something. Obviously, this car is very dirty. What if we take it to a car wash? That's right. It's a cool experiment, right? Can we clean it up? Can we? <laughs> is this the exit? <laughs> Am I going the wrong way? How do you clean your car in, in this game? All right, here we go. Let's see if we can clean up this car. Gotta say, the why is this called a car wash? This place itself looks pretty dirty. <laughs> I've actually never really been through a car wash in GTA. But hey, first time for everything. Okay, it looks like it's still a bit rusty. Oh, what's happening? Hello? What? <laughs> what is going on? Does the car not fit? Uh... Okay, well, very clean. Nice job, car wash. All right, so the car wash didn't really do anything. What if we take this thing into the auto repair shop? Repair? Did I really just say that? Auto repair. There you go. All right, so we made it to Los Santos Customs with our cheapest car in the game. Let's see what can we do. Okay, so let's put some armor on it. We're literally putting 35 grand of armor on a $3,000 car. Yo, that actually looks really cool. I think I like... This one more, or this one? Nah, this one, this one. It's like a, it's a mad grill, yo. You ain't touching me. We're gonna upgrade this car for a good $300,000. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Clown horn, seen on headlights, cause why not? Neon, really? <laughs> on this car? Okay. All right, so if we respray it, what will happen? It's still dirty. It, you, you can't fix this car up, literally. Look, the chrome is so ugly. What about um, like a matte frame color? Ooh, ooh. Oh, it, oh, it looks like it's never been cleaned before. Oh, that's terrible. In white, it actually looks kind of cool now. The rust is really showing itself. <laughs> All right, but obviously we need the good old crew color. You know, the jelly color. That's what we need. Transmission. Okay, we're going to put a nice transmission on it. Bed liners. <gasps> what? What is this? I did not know this was possible. <gasps> you can completely strip the car. This is awesome. Look at the difference it makes. That is actually insane. This might be the ugliest car ever. Aero bed cover. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we're going with the sand rail conversion. Look at this. This car is so raw right now. <laughs> I love it. Turbo tuning, wheels, wheel color. I did not know you could customize the cheapest car in the game like this. I mean, this is actually insane. Limo windows. <laughs> And that's it. So if you customize the cheapest car in the game, this is what it's gonna look like. And I gotta say, it doesn't look like the cheapest car in the game anymore. This looks badass, man. This looks absolutely badass. <laughs> this is actually really nice. Look at that suspension. <laughs> I love it. I guess you can imagine, I highly recommend this car. Whoa! Does this thing have wings or something? Oh, we just lost the hood. But you know what? It looks even better now. So we made it to my garage. We're uh, gonna pick up a new car, the Voodoo. All right, so we made it into my garage. I think it's pretty obvious to say which one is the second cheapest car in the game. I don't wanna put too much of a focus on this one though because it's not the cheapest, but this one is from Benny's Motor Workshop or whatever it's called. You can actually customize this one like crazy as well. All right, so if you don't like the raw and rusty look of the first cheapest car in the game for $3,000, you can purchase this one, the D-Class Voodoo. It costs $5,500. And unlike the cheapest car, the second cheapest car, you can actually fix everything. That's right. So right now it is a very rusty old looking car, but still pretty cool. If we click upgrade and we spend $420,000 on it, <laughs> it's, it's good money. Then, woohoo! We actually fixed this baby up for only four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Rockstar Games, I love you so much. <laughs> you can really customize this one like crazy. Uh, that's the cool thing about the Voodoo. We can put different engine blocks in it, air filters, exhausts. See, we could all we could do all these cool things with the previous one. But the coolest thing yet is we can put hydraulics in, guys. So I'm gonna put some hydraulics in just to show you. And also we can fix up things with the interior. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh, too much. Too much. <laughs> Literally everything. Oh, a lot of cool stickers you can put on. Ooh, this one's pretty sick. All right, so uh, the hydraulics basically do this to the car. You can wiggle it around. Oh, ah, ah, oh my God, we're jumping. Oh, okay, I can't steer. That's the second cheapest car in the game. Now it's time to move on 
to the most expensive cars in Grand Theft Auto V. All right, so we're back on the internet. We're going back to travel and motorsport. And uh, really, we're just gonna have to do the same exact thing. What's the most expensive car here? And uh, is there a more expensive one out there? I think the most expensive one on Benny's Motorworks is the Nero for 1.4 million. Obviously, because it's Benny's Motorsports, you can customize that one like crazy, but there is way more expensive ones. Oh my God, that looks sick though. Legendary Motorsports, the most expensive car. 2.8 million dollars. The Pagasi Zetarek. What is it called? Tezerac. This is such a good looking car. I believe it's electric too. So obviously we're gonna have to purchase this one and we are going to customize it. And at the end of the video, we are going to do a speed test between the most expensive and cheapest car in the game. All right, so are there any other expensive cars available? I believe there should be one on here, but it's kind of cheating. Let's have a look. So we've got a 6.5 million jet. We've got a uh, sale on another jet. And here we have the actual most expensive car in the game. The Ruiner 2000. This one goes for $5.7 million. This is a special car. It's got machine guns. It's got rockets. It's kind of like a parody of a James Bond movie. And even though this is the most expensive car, it's kind of like the voodoo where it's not really the most expensive car because it's not really a car. I don't know. You got to customize this one like crazy. So stock, I believe it doesn't come with anything. And then you have to upgrade it like crazy. And you also have to buy this terror by bus to even be able to customize it, which is a bit expensive. Or maybe it was the mobile operation center. I can't remember. But anyway, I have both cars in my garage. Let's have a look at both cars, the fastest supercar and the most expensive car in the game, which is the Ruiner 2000. All right, so we made it back to my garage and you might be wondering, Jelly, which one exactly is the Tesseract? And that is, ladies and gentlemen, this one. At least, I think so, if I'm guessing correctly. Oh my God, it's so sweet. Look at this design, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the rims. I mean, that's beautiful. It's an electric vehicle. Uh, it's pretty darn fast, but it is not the fastest car in the game, acceleration wise. There is one that is faster. And if you want to find out which one that is, you got to check out my experiment of that one. I made a video trying to figure out which the fastest car in the game is. So make sure you check that out if you haven't yet. But anyway, we made it to the Tesseract. Oh my God, I love this thing so much. It is really fast. <laughs> the acceleration in this thing is just absolutely insane. But the top speed could actually be better on the cheapest car in the game. It's an electric vehicle and electric vehicles don't have like an insane top speed usually. So that could be an awesome surprise and we're gonna figure that out in just a bit. We're gonna do like a test trail. Before we get to that, I kind of want to show you guys the Ruiner 2000 because uh, there's not much I can show with the uh, with the Tesseract, to be honest. Oh my God, look at the suspension up front, by the way. Oh, it's so good. All right, so this right here is the top speed. Literally, you cannot go faster than this. I mean, it's fast, but is it really worth all your money? You know what I mean? Look, I, I didn't even die. It wasn't fast enough. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. The Ruiner 2000, everyone. It's looking fantastic. I gotta say, look at these headlights. Ooh. So like I said, this is a vehicle. It is a car, but it's kind of more like a weapon, a drivable weapon. I mean, look at this. All right, so we have a selection of a machine gun, missiles, and homing missiles. Oh no, homing missiles and homing missiles up. Okay, whatever. So we can shoot like normally and shoot everyone's tires. <laughs> kind of like Josh always does to me in, in GTA race videos. You know what I mean? I mean, that's fun and all, but there's actually more guys. There is more with this car. You might've already seen it before somewhere else. It's not a new car. Woo oh, oh, see you later cop. Oh my goodness. So there's more to this car. For example, we can jump. Let's drive against traffic and jump. Oh my God, that is so amazing. Oh, oopsies. So we can jump over things and then while we're flying, okay, we can open a parachute. Yay, it's so nice. Yep, this is probably the best car in the game. And that kind of explains its price of, I believe it was $5,745,000. Seriously, like I like to do this in my free time. You just drive against traffic. You just jump over trucks and cars and oh, it's so much fun. Oh, another one. Oh, oh. Hey, cop, how you doing? <laughs> See you later. Hey, dude, how you doing? I forgot to jump. I'm sorry. Woo! Jump and open the chute and fly into the tunnel. Woo. All right. So now that you've seen the cheapest and most expensive cars in the game, how about we take them to a drag strip and we try them out against each other? I am really curious to see which one is the fastest, the slowest, 
and just better in general. All right, guys, so we made it to the airstrip with our vehicles. On the left, we have the Tesseract, which is the electric most expensive supercar in the game. And then here we have the Ruiner 2000, which is actually the most expensive car in the game, but it's not a supercar. It's more of a weapon car, but it's pretty sick. We're gonna compare them all against the Rusty Rebel for only $3,000. Keep in mind, this one is 5.7 million. And here we have the Voodoo for $5,500. I say we start with the Voodoo. We're gonna check out its acceleration and its top speed. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay, 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. It's taking its sweet time. 50 miles an hour, third gear already. Okay, we haven't even hit 60 yet. And we're almost, okay, 12 seconds. What is the top speed? Come on, keep going, Voodoo. Keep going. Oh, 70 miles an hour. Come on, keep going, Voodoo. You can do this. It's not going faster. Okay, we're gonna say a top speed of 90 miles an hour if you're lucky all right if you're lucky all right so the voodoo hit 60 miles an hour in 11.98 seconds it's pretty much 12 seconds let's see how our rusty rebel is going to do and also we're gonna have to figure out what the top speed is of a rusty rebel for three thousand dollars three two one go okay is it gonna beat the voodoo i hope it does it is almost half the price of the voodoo Okay, seven seconds and almost 60, 60 miles an hour, 9.2 seconds. You know what? That is actually surprisingly good. That is actually not bad. Some of the supercars, which cost like a million dollars, don't even hit seven seconds. This one hit 9.2, but still is pretty good. Okay, 87 miles an hour. Is it gonna shift gear again? We're in a fifth gear right now. I don't think this car has a sixth gear, so that kind of explains now this car's top speed, just like the Voodoo, is just under 90 miles an hour, which is really slow, actually. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. All right, we've made it to our Tesseract, the electric vehicle, which is kind of the most expensive supercar in the game. Of course, the Ruiner 2000 is more expensive, but it's not a supercar. But anyway, 60 miles an hour, acceleration, and top speed. We're here to figure it out. Three, two, one, go! This is gonna have an insane top speed and an insane acceleration. 60 miles an hour in 4.2 seconds. Actually, a little bit of a disappointment. All right, top speed, we're currently on 110. 111, it's in red, which means it's like on its maximum. 118, 119, 20, 121. A top speed of 125-ish. That's quite fast. Last but not least, we have got ourselves a Ruiner 2000. I have no idea how this thing is going to perform. It better perform decently well, considering it is the most expensive car in the game. We're here to figure it out. Zero to 60, three, two, one, go. Okay. 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, 40, 50, 60. Oh my God, it was gonna hit 60, but 5.4 seconds is slower than the Tesseract, but obviously it's, the Tesseract doesn't have weapons. <laughs> this thing does. What is this top speed? I have no idea. 103, 104. See, I don't think it has a sixth gear. So really 110 is probably the max. And it, it kind of sounds like it's hitting its maximum well right now. Oh, is it gonna hit 16? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. We compared the cheapest and most expensive cars in Grand Theft Auto V. And to be honest, we kind of figured out that the cheapest cars are not all that bad. They're slow, sure, but the top speed is not bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more experiments, please help me with some ideas in the comment section, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click on that subscribe button, and also make sure to check out the new exclusive Jelly Army t-shirts on jellystore.com.